a sign about three miles back said this road was closed and I, and I thought I could ignore it because there's a little farm down here I thought I could camp in tonight but uh, sadly not so we have to reverse up and do some pretty nifty three-point turning here this is not going to be easy I could get stuck these little country lanes are so like thin that if there was another car coming there's no chance I'd be able to give them access down that road which is blocked is a campsite but it's still two miles down there I've just come like two miles that way so I'm a bit of a I'm in a bit of a quandary about where to stay tonight maybe I'll just go back Whew. well one thing's for sure I need to go back down this road The Yorkshire Dales was designated a national park in 1954. It's a nest of small villages, hamlets, farmsteads, cows, sheep, trees, bushes and miles of dry stone walls. Thanks very much, not much room is there? <laughs> Cheers. This is a beautiful part of the world and I've come just off the bat I set off around 11 o'clock this morning, no 12 o'clock this morning, afternoon even, which is very late in the day to set off to go and do something. I'm hoping I can stay the night here. I've got a tent, in fact I've got everything I need. I'm just not used to camping, I, I'm, well I've never done it before. So uh, I've just checked, I've got everything I need, but I don't have any, uh, I don't have anything to eat. And I don't have any, I've got water, but I don't have any uh, coffee, I've got milk. I don't have any food, but I don't, th don't think that's the end of the world. And um, I don't have any permission to, to, to camp anywhere. I did see on Google Maps, there's a campsite. Seven pounds per person per night. So I'm heading down there, and fingers crossed, I should have somewhere to stay. But it is a beautiful part of the world it's nice because it's late afternoon now it's it's half past four in the afternoon the shadows are long and uh, little country lanes like this when there's nobody about are an absolute delight to travel down but uh, I'm gonna have to come up with a plan of what I'm gonna do well I found myself a very nice camping spot right here right I have this it's a Coleman Darwin 2 I think it's a probably as, as basic as you can get. With just over a thousand residents, Hawes is a market town at the head of Wensleydale and is a key stop-off point for visitors to the Dales wanting to stop overnight or stock up on camping supplies. So it's getting on for half 
past six in the evening. I found a solution, which I'll show you in a minute. It's not quite what I was looking for, but it will do. But now that I don't have the panic of having to find what I was looking for, I can sit back and just enjoy this drive in the evening through this incredible countryside. I don't think I would ever tire of this and you know when you do tire of it you go somewhere else slow down local always tell the locals there <laughs> they just do like 50 miles an hour whereas I'm doing my uh, polite 20 20 miles an hour trying to remember where my tent is at the moment not quite sure where I left it, but uh, I think it's down here on a left somewhere. I'm hoping that my little tent has not been surrounded by other people's tents and that I have a little bit of peace and space. I don't really want to be hearing uh, the next door tent snoring or whatever noises it is they decide they're going to produce throughout the evening. There's my tent. Oh, I think I need to pop this in. Next is the sleeping bag. This is what I ended up getting because I could not find this is good. Uh, I'm not sure if you keep the carbon box underneath. I think I'll keep, oh, there's a, there's a thing. I'm guessing that's to put it on. So I'm gonna wait for the uh, coals to glow. I have two large beef and onion burgers from the Yorkshire Dales and I have a couple of sausages also from the Yorkshire Dales and the quality it says so I'll have two of these and two of these normally I wouldn't have this sort of food by the way honest right time to open this and see what I've got I've never opened it I don't know what it is hopefully there's some sort of saucepan in here for making myself some some coffee which I'll stick on there right away I think have a little frying pan a little pot I don't know how I'm gonna have my coffee actually I don't, have a, I don't have a container for it oh this could be a container do I have a water ah that work that would work as you can see I used the plastic water bottle to fashion a nice coffee cup to the volume of coffee I like and it's a little it's gonna keep me awake all night of course and I have already spilt milk inside the tent by the way but uh, not the coffee I normally have but uh, very hot Ow. very hot 
little update on the cooking. I've chucked some sausages on. Well, this is my very first camping trip. I'm not doing too badly. I shouldn't put the uh, fire so close to the entrance to the tent. All the smoke is going in the tent, which is why I'm outside the tent. The cooking, bit of a disaster. The burgers were dry and uh, not too tasty. I could only eat one, to be honest, because I wasn't, I just couldn't eat. To, I was full up after one. So the sausages didn't even get consumed of there. I think I might have them cold tomorrow. And um, this is what I've been thinking about sitting here, thinking, what am I getting wrong? I kind of had to come out and just do it, just to discover, make mistakes. I had to come out and make mistakes, which is what I've done. So mistakes I've made is, um, uh, if you are going to put a tent up next to a car like this, i.e. not wild camping, then you might as well bring a nice little table, a little chair. So I, I really wish I'd done that so I could sit out there. Um, I wish I'd brought some, some sort of uh, utensils to cut with and to sort of poke the food with. I did it with a pen knife. Um, I wish I brought a cup uh, to drink my coffee out of. Uh, what else do I, do I wish I'd done? It's going to be very warm tonight. But there's midges around. So I think more thought about midges would be a good idea. Something for my feet that aren't my shoes. Um, maybe like a little box like a cool box or something to put all the food in is a good idea. I mean, I'm, this is uber luxury camping mode is what I'm thinking about. Wild camping is a completely different deal, but this is at least getting me used to like just lying down like this. I would normally never lie like this uh, unless I was in bed and I'm not really ready for bed. It's like only seven o'clock, eight o'clock. So, um, yeah, the sun's not going to go down for another two hours. Uh, oh yeah, the other thing is reception. I wish I brought me uh, my dab radio with me because I don't have any reception and I was hoping I could sit here and listen to audiobooks and things like that. Uh, I may well go for a drive, get some signal and download a few. Um, but I don't want to drive around too much because people are all settling down now. Um, I also wanted to pop my drone up, but I don't want to disturb people, you know, it's a campsite. People are here to relax. And uh, even though I'd only put the drone up for a few minutes to, so I don't dis disturb people. Just having me do it would be annoying. So I don't really, I know how that feels when people are, are annoying. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of sit here. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might go sit in the car with the aircon on. Let's see if I can get some radio reception in there. I probably will. I think I'll go and listen to the radio in the car. That's what I'll do. Hmm. Interesting. Half past ten at night. I'm starting to really enjoy myself. I'm sitting here listening to my uh, audio book, uh, The American Civil War. And I'm hearing noises outside. One of the things I was always worried about going camping was... Um, safety, feeling safe. And I've been lying here thinking about it, and um, you know, what would I do if somebody did sort of attack? <laughs> and then I just thought, well, this is extremely, it's extremely unlikely that that would ever happen here. Um, so then I stopped thinking about it, uh, and then I started thinking about uh. How much I'm enjoying this. I'm super warm, apart from my head, but uh, I need to get a slightly, <laughs> slightly bigger sleeping bag. Uh, I'm using the light from the torch to illuminate my face. Plus, I've got everything on charge here at the minute. The the batteries for the GoPro and uh, charging my um, the iPhone I use for the drone, so I can fly the drone tomorrow. 
still not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow, but uh, um, I'm really enjoying sitting here, or lying here in the middle of nowhere. Obviously, I'm somewhere, but I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. And uh, so, <laughs> there's something so basic about it. Uh, uh, although, you know, this is like luxury camping. You know, I have the car with everything I could possibly need. It's not a sort of man against the elements. So I'll, that's definitely the next step. But... Uh, Definitely the first of many camping videos, I hope. And uh, I've written my long list of things that I need to do and things I need to get. And doing these, like, I'm going to call them luxury camps. And doing the wild camps is uh, something I think I could really get into. I need to get a torch. That was a difficult night's sleep. I think because of my size, actually. It's just because of my physique. Uh, just my, my back feels like it needs a good stretch. And uh, if anything, I think it's the uneven ground. But I'm not going to start whinging because I'm liking waking up and being sat in the middle of nowhere very much I'm looking forward to the sun's it's not quite up yet so I'm going to pack up quite quick and uh, I don't know I'm going to see what's happening no breakfast I'll just get going I think All right let's go Well, that's me all ready to, to head off home. It's six o'clock in the morning, the sun's just coming up. <clears throat> Beautiful valley there. <clears throat> well, thank you for watching uh, my video. I'm a little, I'm kind of like, I want to talk to you, but I also want to look over there. It's pretty amazing. Um, that's definitely something I've not done before so that was exciting my feet got soaking wet so another lesson learnt there uh, which is what it's all about I, I'm, I'm quite pleased that I'm ex doing it all wrong so that I learn you know I want to bring the bare minimum but I don't want to do it if it's not comfortable uh, Uh, if, if this is what I'm waking up to, I'm definitely going to do it again. And soon.